Hey YouTube, how's it going? Have you ever had an issue where you've uploaded a video and it ends up getting cropped around black borders but you don't want to re-render it? Or you've had a video that's been made and uploaded to YouTube before the whole widescreen video came out and that video is now really shrunk underneath black borders like this one? Well today I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue with the videos you've already uploaded thanks to a new feature that YouTube's included. It also allows you to adjust widescreen settings in case your video didn't come out right or you can just stretch it out if you want to, or just do whatever you want, and also play high quality videos without asking people to play it in high quality. Now this feature was introduced back at the end of April, but not a lot of people found out about it because it was mentioned in the YouTube blog, and immediately after it was mentioned, it got buried underneath another blog post. Gotta love YouTube for always being so jumpy whenever an important thing comes in. <laughs> now to use this feature, what you need to do is copy one of four lines of code, which I've provided in the sidebar there, and post it in the tag section of your videos. Now, if you don't know how to use this thing, don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to use each of these little tag settings through a series of trial and error, and also what the results will show up. Firstly, let's get to the first one. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a name for each of these lines of code, but it uh, got too techno-ish. Eh, so screwed. Now, first off, if you upload a video before November 2008, when YouTube launched their widescreen player, most likely you'd have this effect here where your video would appear in a rectangle around a full line of black borders somewhat evenly. To fix this, what you need to do is add this line of code in, which is yt colon crop equals 16 colon 9, and problem solved. Zooms in. Uh, you might need to check in case there's been some tidbits missing, but it should work. Next up, if you've uploaded a video that you hoped was in widescreen but it came out in full screen and you get this really annoying squish effect, what you need to do is add this line of code which is yt colon stretch equals 16 colon 9 and whew, stretched out to fit the screen. Uh, again, you might need to double check because there might be some pieces missing. Next up, if you had a video that was meant to be shot in full screen but it came out widescreen or you have a video that can't decide on whether it's supposed to be full screen or widescreen, kind of half and half. What you do is add this code, which is yt colon stretch equals 4 colon 3. And what this does is it exactly aligns the video to have it in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, which is this, this size here, as you can see. Simple. And finally, you can use this line of code, yt colon quality equals high, which, well, does what it says on the blog. It automatically defaults your video to be played in high quality when you start it. So you won't have to include an annotation that goes something like Stop what you're doing and click the high quality button. So that's pretty much it. If you know someone who has this aspect ratio problem with some of their videos, send this video to them and we can help you out by just showing you this. That simple. So without anything further to say, um, bye, I guess.